I'm going to show you how you can use Excel stat to randomly select 100 rows. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to start your Excel worksheet. I'm going to double click on the worksheet and Excel is going to load up. Okay, and uh, so you can see our data is being loaded here. Give me a second. Okay, so this is the data we have right now and uh, it's the same data set we're working on for Oregon flight data. So you can see there are various columns here. Okay, so right now we are under Excel and we want to use Excel stat to randomly select. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on the Excel stat tab. I'm going to start Excel stat. Okay, and uh, once Excel stat start, you can see there are different uh, icons, different ribbons here. Okay. And uh, so what you need to do next is you're gonna say you're gonna consider what columns you want to randomly select from. Okay, so just say we want to work on uh, I think it says uh, departure delay. So that's gonna be this one departure delay. So there are two columns which are very similar, and uh, one of them is departure delay minutes, which is actually. Uh, measure uh, which is different from departure delay departure delay it can have both positive and negative if it's a negative that means the flight wasn't delayed at all it was uh, arrived pretty much on time seven minutes ahead of time ahead of schedule okay so what we want to do is i'm going to show you how you can randomly select the 100 rows here and you can see there are many many rows if you go down you can see i think it's uh, over four thousand rows okay so uh, let's see how we can do that. Okay, so the first thing is you're going you're gonna to click on pre preparing data, data sampling. Okay, so you're going to see a dialog box here, and this is Excel stats dialog box, dialog box. Okay, typically the very first thing I would recommend all my students to do is always click on the reset. Especially if you are already working on active worksheet, Excel worksheet, you do have, you do want to reset it. Okay, so make sure you reset because this is the first worksheet we work on, so it doesn't make any difference. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my cursor here, so you can see I put my cursor here, and I want to select the data. So what data you want to randomly select from? And uh, for this one, I think we want to focus on entire worksheet. Okay, so let's want to. I want to drag. All of the columns I want to consider, so you can see I'm dragging it. Okay. You want to do it a little bit slowly. Great. I think it stops here. Okay, so you can see Oregon flight data, column A, all the way to BD, column BD. Uh, all those columns are being selected. Typically, when we randomly select data, we do want to make sure the sampling here is random without replacement random without replacement that means uh, each row we only want it to appear once in our newly selected sample so you don't want two rows to appear twice it is possible for one row to be selected twice because everything is random so it is possible but we don't want that to happen so you want to choose random without replacement and a number of samples we only want one sample and we want 100 sample size. So 100 here corresponds to the number of rows you want to select. If you're working on 30 rows, that's going to be 30. And if you're working on three, that's going to be three. And uh, it's also very, very important to mark here, do we have variable labels? Yes, we do. So that also referred as a header, column header. Do you have a column header? Yes, we do. So do make sure this being checked. Okay, so there are several options given here, display the report header and shuffle. So you can leave everything else as the default settings, default settings. Okay, I'm gonna click on okay. And so you have this uh, another box. This is not an error message. If it has I here, it means there's additional information. Excel stat wants to remind you. And uh, so Rose is, uh, was telling you, select those columns and those rows. You just click on continue. If you don't want this box to appear anymore, you can just click on do not show this box message anymore. Continue. Okay. And now, and now if you look carefully, we are actually having two worksheets. So this is the one that we selected from, and those this is the new worksheet that's being created by Excel stat. 
If you go down this worksheet, you can see there are probably 100 rows being selected. Okay, so it's a little bit more than 100. And the reason is because the reason is because there are some more information being given here. Okay, so what you want to do is because this extra information is not necessary, what we want to do is we want to highlight those 100 rows we just selected. Make sure your header is also selected. So I'm going to highlight all those rows that's just being selected. I'm going to, I'm, uh, great. Okay, right here. Okay, right click. Okay, copy. And you're going to go to a new worksheet. And you're going to paste it here. Okay, I right click. Typically, I like to paste using values. So that's going to be the one that's labeled as one, two, three. You could also go with paste spe uh, special. Paste special. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, so paste. Okay, don't want to click on anything yet. Okay, so you can see values. So there's those two are the same. You can do this one. You could also do this one. Okay, so you can see all 100 rows being selected. So if you go down this spreadsheet, you should see 101, 101. That's because we have a header. Okay, so what you may also realize is there's a green triangle being given here. Okay, so you can fix this because this is actually indeed an error. Okay, so right now, if you do double click on this one, you can see number stored as text. This is not what we wanted. We want to change that to numbers. Okay, so what you can do is you can click on this column. Okay, go to the very top ribbon, click on data. So this is an Excel. This is a data tab under Excel menu. Okay, go to text to columns. Okay, so typically text to columns is going to split these columns, uh, various columns into a uh, uh, one column into several parts, but this is not what we are exactly doing. What we want to do is we just want to convert those tags as numbers. Okay, so you don't have to do anything here. Just click on finish. You don't need to click on next. Just click on finish. And so you can see this uh, green triangle actually disappeared and all the numbers become right aligned. That means this is actually being successfully transformed into numbers. And this is exactly what we want to do. Okay, and now you have 100 rows successfully uh, selected using, randomly successfully selected using Excel stat. Okay, and now you can work on this new sheet. And typically, I would recommend to rename as well. So uh, you can call it 100 rows. Yes. Okay, and make sure you guys save as well. And uh, that's going to be the end of this uh, video.